Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, thank you for stopping by. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, thank you for coming back. It really means a lot. So in today's video, I will be doing my October week one budget with me and cash stuffing. So I'm going to move this to the side for now. I had started filming a video and I got about two minutes into it with a bit of chit chat and I realised there is no point stuffing £100 from my living money envelope into here just for me to finish the video and to take it back out again um, because I had saved this money up a while ago from my weekly income and my monthly income and that was to tide me over until my student finance started in October. So there is £130 here. This £100 I'll be stuffing into my cash envelopes this week for the first week of October. And this £30 I'm going to be keeping to the side because, um, like I mentioned in a previous video, I was really craving Chinese food. And the nearest, nicest Chinese to me is almost half an hour away. So me and my friend went, we had lovely Chinese, a nice catch up, great. I've also been really, really craving sushi and curry and noodles. Um, yeah, and the nearest place to me, apart from like, you know, a meal deal in the, in the shop that does vegan sushi and like um, vegan katsu curry and things is wasabi, which is in the train station in Birmingham New Street, which is, again, a few hours away from me, but I've been madly craving it. So that's £30 because I don't think I'll need it. I will be keeping to one side and using to buy the sushi when we go. My student finance should be coming in at some point during the next week, which I think they said like the 5th or the 7th. So we'll see. So I should only need, well, <laughs> hopefully it comes in or I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I do know what I'm going to do. I have got some rollover money, you know, should I need it, but it should go in and then I can stuff the envelopes and I'm going to try and sync it up so I only stuff this binder once a month and that'll be for my cash envelope, cash, <laughs> they're all cash envelopes, but the cash envelopes and my living expenses, cash envelopes, because the cash envelope money comes from my monthly income and then my living expenses, cash envelopes like food, household and pets or cats comes will come from my student finance so I'm gonna try and sync it up so I'm working on week one for each of them not half and half so there's 100 pound there and then I need to go to the cash envelopes and pull out the 50 pound from there so that is that so there is 150 pound there and now I can move on to actually writing out my budget. So miscellaneous is going to get five. Beauty is going to get five. Clothes is going to get five. And eating out is going to get five. Spending is going to get a 10. Books is going to get a five. And petrol is going to get a 15. Food is going to get 70. Household is going to get 10. And cats is getting whoop, 20. So that is £150. So let's crack on. Miscellaneous. Beauty. Already has a five. It's getting another five, so it now has ten. I think I will need to do a toiletry top up soon. Clothes. Is getting a five. Eating out is also getting a five. Spending is getting oop, a ten. Books has fifteen. It's getting a five. So it now has twenty. And petrol is getting 15. 15. Hair and nails isn't getting stuffed, but there will be some spending from that this week. So 10 for household, 20 for cats. So there is 70 there for food. 
and like I said in the, in a previous video I am going to try and shop in Aldi or Lidl's this week household is getting 10 and then cats are getting 20 and that is my last envelope so that is £150 stuffed ready for the week and probably about a hundred of it will get spent tomorrow <laughs> but that's how it goes I don't I definitely could not manage just keeping everything on my card because I would spend probably like a hundred pound on unnecessary Amazon purchases and then not have any money for bills <laughs> so this budgeting system definitely works for me and I will continue doing it for the foreseeable future so that is that that is my budget with me and cash stuffing for the first week of october thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please consider hitting that like button i'd really appreciate it and if you want to leave me a comment i would love to read that as well i hope you all have an amazing day and if you want to keep up to date with my budgeting journey please consider hitting that subscribe button it would make my day thanks for watching bye